Assalamualaikum and hi students So this is another lecture video for BMCG 1013 Differential Equations Chapter 5 Partial Differential Equations Okay. So for this week We will cover the two LOs Which are To apply the finite difference method In solving partial differential equations And the second one is to solve parabolic equation Using finite difference method 5.4 Numerical methods Finite difference method So 5.4.1 We have parabolic equations So consider the most popular parabolic equation Which, which is from heat equations You have del u over del t minus Alpha square del square u over del x square equal to 0 With interval x and t okay. With the boundary condition When x equal to 0 And x equal to a It is equal to 0 and initial condition when t equal to 0, it is equal to fx. Okay, by using forward difference and central difference formula, heat equation at point xi and ti okay, is equal to this. When we substitute del u over del t, okay, when we substitute del u over del t, del square u over del x square, okay, using the forward difference and central difference, we have the approximation to this uij plus 1 minus uij minus alpha square k over h square ui plus 1j minus 2uij plus ui minus 1j equal to 0 and then we can simplify this term this formula with assume r is equal to alpha square k divided by h square okay so when we do this substitution we have this final formula simple formula Okay, so you need to remember this. Uij plus 1 is equal to Ruij plus 1j plus 1 minus 2Ruij plus Rui minus 1j. Okay, what is k and h? Okay, k and h is the step size. We will see what is k and h in the next example. Example 5.10. Solve the heat equation. Del u over del t equal to del square u over del x square. So basically alpha square is equal to 1. Okay. So we have alpha 1 over here. X limit is from 0 to 1. T is a positive number. Initial condition. When t equal to 0, you have sine pi x. And for boundary condition, u 0 t is equal to u 1 t equal to 0. When x equal to 0, when x equal to 1, it is equal to 0. Okay, you have uh, t, inter interval t, 0 to 0 0.02. 0 Given h is equal to 1.5. H 1.5 is equal to 0 0.2. K equal to 1 over 100. And this is equal to 0 0.01. So basically, h is the step size for x. And k is step size for t. To solve using the... Mm, Numerical method, first thing first, you need to draw the grid line, the mesh. Okay. So, this is your T, this is your X. Okay. So, look at the interval. X is from 0 to 1 with step size 0 0.2. So, this is 0. You have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and you need to stop at 1.0 because the Limit is from 0 to 1 only. And as for t, t is from 0 to 0 0.02 with, inter, with step size 0 0.01. So you have 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. And then you need to draw the line. Okay, join the line. So this is your mesh grid. For each mesh grid, you have the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So you have this 18 point. Label every point. So start with this one. The location for this U, 0, 0. For this one, u one zero. Okay. 
this is two u two zero u three zero u four zero u five zero row zero okay and then moving to row one you have u zero one this is column zero u one one u two one u three one u four one u five one then the second row u zero two u one two u two two u three two u four two u five two and then you need to know that this u i j what is the definition of this u i j u is the location of x and j is the location the position of y okay so if you have u zero zero so this is the position i is zero j is zero for this one i is four j is two okay, once you have the mesh grid you need to substitute the boundary conditions okay so the boundary so boundary condition will give you the value for this u00 u01 u02 u50 u51 u52 so the boundary condition you have u0 t equal to u1 t equal to 0 okay how to read this for this one for any value of t x equal to 0 so any value of t x is equal to 0 so this one and then for any value of t x is equal to 1 this the coordinate this is referred to the coordinate so the point involved here is for u 0 t you may have u 0 0 you may have u 0 1 u 0 1 is u 0 0 point 0 1 and you have u 0 0 0.02 this three point okay so t can be any value while x is equal to zero okay then all this is equal to zero so you can conclude that this three point u zero zero u zero one u zero two is equal to zero do not confuse so when you write u zero zero u zero zero point zero one it is the coordinate coordinate x equal to 0 t equal to 0 0.01 if you write u 0 0 u 0 1 u 0 2 it refers to the position okay this is the coordinate this is the position okay let's try with the second one u 1 t so u 1 t meaning that x equal to 1 this is x equal x equal to 1 okay x equal to 1 and then t can be any number t can be 0 it can be 0 0.01 and it can be 0 0.02 in this case okay and it is equal to 0 okay so this one this three so you have you just find the value for u50 u51 u52 and all these are equal to 0 so you just find the value for these six points okay another okay you can find these four points from the initial conditions so initial conditions u x zero is equal to sine pi x u x zero is equal to sine pi x meaning that any value of x when t equal to zero t equal to zero is this one so you can find the value for this four point one two three four the four point u one zero u two zero u three zero and u four zero is equal to okay refer to the coordinates u one zero the coordinate for u one zero is zero point two zero okay and then for this one it is zero point four zero zero point six zero zero point eight zero so u zero point four u 0 0.6 and u 0 0.80 okay next thing to do is to substitute this x into sine and sine pi x so sine pi x your x is 0 0.2 so you have pi okay next sine 0 0.4 pi sine 0 0.6 pi 
sine 0 0.8 pi. This is x, 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 x. Okay. And then using your calculator, make sure the mode of the calculator is in radian. Find what is sine 0 0.2 pi. And everything, 0 0.4 pi, 0 0.6 pi and 0 0.8 pi. And the answer should be, you should get 0 0.5. 878 4010 U10 0 0 0.9511 U9511 for U30 and lastly U0 0.5878 Okay, you just find this 10 values, 10 points, but the value for this 10 points for this 8 points. Okay, you need to use the formula. For the formula, first we start with R. R is alpha square K over H square. So alpha square is 1. K, K is 0 0.01 and H is 0 0.2. So K is 0 0.01 and H is 0 0.2 square. So... 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.2 square is equal to 1 over 4. This is equal to 0 0.25. So you have your R. Okay, from R, substitute in R into U, the formula U I J plus 1 equal to R U I plus 1 J plus 1 minus 2 R U I J. Plus R U I minus 1 G. Okay, since R is equal to 0 0.25. So you have 0 0.25 U I plus 1 J. Plus 1 minus 0 0.25 multiplied by 2. 0 0.5 U I J plus 0 0.25 U I Minus 1 G. Simplify this. 0 0.25 UI plus 1 J plus 0 0.5 UI J plus 0 0.25 UI minus 1 G. Now, we want to find what is U11. So, write U11. U11 is equal to, okay, for U11, Okay. Compared to this u i j plus 1. So basically i is equal to 1. i is equal to 1. And this 1 is equal to j plus 1. So j plus 1 is equal to 1. Meaning that j is 0. So j plus 1 equal to 1. So j is equal to 0. Okay. When you substitute the value of u, uh, sorry, i and j. So you have 0 0.25 u. This is i plus 1. I is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, J is 0, so U to 0, plus 0 0.5, U, I, J, I is 1, J is 0, plus 0 0.25, U, I minus 1, I is 1 minus 1 is 0, J is equal to 0. Okay, and then substitute the value for U to 0, U 1 0, U 0 0, you get from the initial bond conditions and boundary condition u00 is equal to 0 u20 is equal to this u10 is equal to this value substitute everything every value so 0 0.25 u20 is 0 0.9511 plus 0 0.5 u10 is 0 0.5878 plus 0 0.25 u00 is equal to 0 okay and then this is equal to 0 0.5317 and then once you get your u11 value proceed with finding what is u21 do not skip this u21 and find what is u12 do not okay solve row by row so find what is u21 then u31 u41 then, only then, you can proceed with U12. Okay? So, now U21. Okay? For U21. U21 is equal to 0 
For u to 1, u i is equal to 2. i is equal to 2. j plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So, j is equal to 0. So, you have u i plus 1. So, 3, 0 plus 0 0.5 u i j. 2, 0 plus 0 0.25 u i minus 1 j. i minus 1 is 1, j is 0. Okay, so you have 0 0.25 u 3 0, u 3 0, 0 0.9511 one, one. plus 0 0.5 u 2 0, 0 0.9511 one, one. plus 0 0.2510 zero. u 1 0 is 0 0.5878 0.5878 The last answer for you to one is 0 0.8603 Okay, and then continue with U31 You should get 0 0.8603 For U41, it is equal to 0 0.5317 And for U22 No, for U12 Okay U12, this point U12, okay, you will have this equal to 0 0.25 U21 plus 0 0.5 U11 plus 0 0.25 U01. And then it is equal to 0 0.4809. Okay, the rest of the the rest of the point U 2, 2 is equal to 0 0.7782. U, 3, 2 is equal to 0 0.7782 as well. And last but not least, U, 4, 2 is equal to 0 0.4809. Okay, for this U, 1, 2, your I is equal to 1. Your J plus 1 is equal to 2. So, J is equal to 1. Okay, for this one. Okay, try to do this and check your answer with mine. If you have any different answer, do message me. Okay, so that's all for this week. Uh, we, we just solve the heat equation using numerical method. Next week, we will see how to solve the wave equation using numerical approach. Thank you.